What up guys, my name is Chris, this is Wheelhouse Trading, and welcome to the Wheelhouse. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I understand that it is a bear market and it's you know tough out there for a lot of people, and that's what our trading group is all about, is to help people learn and to have support amongst other uh, people learning and trading and um, sharing ideas and thoughts as a community and uh, I decided to open up our discord uh, usually only the subscribe members are in the Jedi chat area and that's where most people talk um, and that kind of excludes a lot of people in the server um, so I opened it up for people that want to come in the discord and be part of uh, that area. I'm also going to have the live group trainings, the Wheelhouse Wednesday, for free on Wednesday nights. So if you come into the Discord, the link is in the description. Uh, you can come in and you can chat with everybody in the Jedi chat area and uh, you know talk about stocks and cryptos and markets and things like that all day. If you want the courses, the indicators, the settings, and the the um, trade alerts, you know, that is a subscription service, which is ninety nine a month, or you can pay annually for six sixty five a year, which is about half the cost. So, <clears throat> uh, if you wouldn't mind, hit the subscribe and the like, select all, make me a comment if you like, and let's just talk about uh, some different things in the market and some crypto. So we've get we've gotten a rally. My last video said, uh, you know, will we have a crypto pump this week? I had explained in that um, video my thesis, which was basically there's only so many times in history during a bear market that there's a major double bottom. And if there was ever a time that institutions and large money tried to buy the dip or defend the line where the bulls would step in would be during that June low double bottom. And I also explained how crypto algorithms were set to the stock market. Um, they do decouple sometimes, but there's a lot of algorithmic trading uh, and high frequency trading between both uh, spaces, the stock and the crypto space. So, you know, just putting two and two together, I figured there would be a fight on the line. We'd see volatility Monday, actually all week long, I, I think, and uh, there will be a fight. You know, they can say what they want on TV. They can do an illusion. They can do an distraction. They can tell you one thing, but one thing that you can't get fooled by is the volume, okay? And that's why several days before the rally, I was able to say, hey, look, I want to get this video out because it's very rare that everything is sinking on my charts, uh, which means that it's about to push up. And, you know, many, many, many days go by and some things sink, but not all of them. And when they all do, that's green lights to the beach. So that's how I was able to kind of know that they were going to go up. And if you go back and look at that video, you can hear about my um, ideas and thoughts and bias and thesis of why a little bit more detailed. So <clears throat> we are going to talk about crypto. And you can see that all the charts have changed and they've all moved up. Um, I'll let you know which ones to still be in and uh, you know if there's any weakness being shown. Right now, crypto is uh, going up more than stocks. I have a theory about that. It is just a theory. I don't know for sure. Um, I don't really have much to base it on other than um, a little bit of maybe a feeling, a hunch, and some common sense and, and whatnot. But I don't know. I don't have any like literature or any, any, anybody that's told me anything like this. But I was just thinking that possibly the reason that crypto is going up more than the stock market at the moment is because the dollar is so strong, it's parabolic. And savvy investors know that anything that goes parabolic, such as real estate or the dollar or stock or crypto, it's going to come down at some point. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to come down to zero, but it can't stay in a rocket formation at that angle for, you know, forever. Okay. At some point, the dollar will weaken and Crypto values are low. They're showing bottoming processes. There's more accumulation. Okay. There's more holding, less selling, and more buying. Everything is lining up in those crypto charts, and the dollar can't stay, you know, strong forever, right? 
And what do we know about Bitcoin? We know that if, when the dollar goes down, Bitcoin goes up. So it may be a preemptive uh, way to not only get a great value on good cryptos at a bottoming process, but also knowing that the dollar's time is coming, uh, that you know there's a, a chance that they could start to show some signs of weakness. It's not quite yet showing weakness, but that doesn't mean you have to buy it on the day that it does. You can be prepared and um, that shows up in the volume. So, um, you know, I was looking at the Dow a minute ago before I started this video and, you know, it's, it's, you know, that June low, um, to me, it's, I mean, it's not to me, it just kind of is what it is, but this was the, the June low, this blue line. See, you can see it right there. If you back it up, it's actually the peak of the bull run. Um, prior to the COVID drop, okay? See right here, and then the COVID drop, and if you just follow this blue line, that's where the June bottom hit, it rallied up to where a trend reversal could have taken place, that's where CPI data came out, also on the descending line, so the geometry and the FIBS all match, came down, pivoted up for four days, Jerome Powell came and, uh, you know, brought the buzz saw, and we went down and, you know, when we came down here, I started seeing that crypto accumulation and, uh, you know, definitely thought the bulls would step in on this line. Um, but there's a lot of fear. Uh, I sense fear. <laughs> and uh, the, 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 the force is strong out there on the dark side. There's a lot of fear, a lot of FUD. And, um, you know, if you look, I moved this over, the body's actually closed below the June bottom low on the Dow, which means we're actually creeping into the dip of COVID. Okay, so we're in new territory. And, um, you know, I kind of told you what my plan was, that I am exiting positions on stocks, but not at a loss. I'm letting my profitable ones get stopped. I'm keeping an eye on my technicals for, for exits that I will manually exit if I see something I don't like. And I... Um, I'm going to wait for momentum on positions that are barely down and two, three, four, five X into them and springboard out into momentum technically to get my cash to the side. So I'm going to defend my cash with cash and then I'm just going to swing and day trade the same, same position. Okay, that's my plan. Remember, if you don't have a plan, your plan is to fail. That's my plan. It's a simple plan. Sometimes simple plans are the best plans. It doesn't have to be overly complicated. Um, you know, to me, it looks like, you know, it's just not good breaking this level of support on the Dow. It's just simply not. And there's a lot of issues going on with real estate, the Chinese economy, all the currencies. Um, it's just it's just nonstop. It's been nonstop for a long time. It's going to, you know, there's going to be more reactive behavior in the markets. However, you have to understand that there will always be rallies to the upside, even in a bear market. Just like in a downtrend, there's green days. Well, in an uptrend, there's red days. You're going to have rallies to the downside and rallies to the upside for the rest of your life that you're in the market. It's just that when you're in a bull market, you're going to have either more rallies you know, to the upside or they will be longer. And then the down rallies will be shorter or less frequent. You know, and then the opposite right now in a primary downtrend or a bear market. So, you know, if you learn how to ride it pivot to pivot, um, you know, you can swing trade this short and long and you'll be fine. You don't have to be fearful. In fact, one of the things that has helped me a lot is to use the fear that's out in the market to my advantage because I'm a directional trader and I make the most money when the direction either goes way down or way up at a steep angle. When it goes sideways, I can't, I'm, I'll just tell you straight up, I can't make money. I, I, lose, I lose money in a sideways market. I just, I don't know if you can figure out how to do it, show me. The only way I know how to do it is to hedge or get lucky. And uh, a winning trading strategy shouldn't be based on luck or hope. <laughs> it should be based on, you know, um, rules and guidelines and, and um, entries and exits. And sideways markets are tough for me. And um, so, yeah, I use the fear to my advantage. And when there's a lot of fear, you get a lot of direction. When there's a lot of direction, if you know what to buy and when to buy it, you can make a lot of money. Um, 
So, yeah, I, I don't like that we have broken this uh, June low and we've dipped into COVID. We are in new territory. The NASDAQ did have some strength in the growth stocks. I mean, you got to understand, some of these stocks out there are incredible. I bought stuff today. I couldn't resist. Even though the technicals are saying it's still going to go down, how could I pass up uh, AMD at $66, 67 dollars? This is a stock that has doubled five years in a row. Like, how could I not buy that as an investment and just forget about it, not look at it, and let it go? Same thing with Nvidia. Same thing with Disney. Look at Disney's at ninety eight, ninety seven bucks. I mean, Disney. They got Marvel. They got Star Wars. They got cruise lines. They got real estate. They got parks. It's freaking Disney. I mean, snap some up for a rainy day. Look at Microsoft, 238. I mean, these are incredible numbers. Um, PayPal's one. Um, I didn't grab more of that, but I, I, I plan to. 84.50 at close that. Amazon's low. Google is low. I mean, these prices are low, guys. So, of course, we're going to get some buying because people with a long time horizon are going to find value in these types of discounts. They just simply are, you know. Um, if you have a long time horizon, there are some good deals out there. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to continue to snap up high conviction ones to hodl um, stocks and crypto. And uh, I'm going to swing and day trade. Um, most of the positions in my watch list is back and forth. I'm obviously, ever since right here where I said the pivot was, I loaded up on the leverage bears, okay, like I had, you know, said here multiple times on YouTube. Um, and look, they're all green. Well, they've been green this whole time. They're all up like 30, 40%. I mean, yeah, this is how you run it. You triple leverage, run the bears down, and you just ride that momentum directionally. And you keep an eye, uh, you be careful around these areas right here, these supports where they could bounce or you could get a short squeeze or something nasty like that. So you throw in your buy stops, you have capital protection. And if it pivots, you go back and you look at, you know, your different time frames on your longs. And if it's looking bullish, you, you run point, you put your money back in there, you just take your money out of this. So that's kind of like what I do. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, crypto is looking really good. Let's take a look at some cryptos. Okay, so the first one I pulled up, um, I just went ahead and chose, you know, the ones that I, I own and what comes up at the top, you know, that's, you know, showing the highest percentage right now is Aave. You can see Aave on the minutes is in a really good trend. I mean, I, I told you that was coming. I'm going to show you in the Weeble so you can see it on the five to nine crosses as well with the simple line chart. But... Certainly trending up. You move it over to a five minute. Strong momentum on Ave. Ave can make you money. Look at the hourly. Okay, this is this is going to be kind of like a, a you know little little mini breakout spot. Obviously, it's not the daily, but it is going to be a little level of resistance to keep an eye on at seventy nine fifty eight, and we're a dollar from there. So you know, let's let it ride. I mean, things are looking good on Ave. Everything's looking good. Even on a four hour, you're showing strength, okay? You go to the daily, and the daily is just now, like I had mentioned in the video the other day, it was just starting to show strength. And it still is, it's not super strong on the daily because the momentum really just started picking up. Uh, we, had a, we had a spurt Sunday night, we had another spurt Monday morning, we had a nice spurt Monday evening, and I believe that that will continue to go uh, for a 72 hour run with one day already have started. So, you know, at least two more days. And if we get through that, this could go, you know, it could go further. It could be a whole week. It could be two weeks. It could, it, you know, we just don't really know. We have to kind of take it step by step, day by day. And, you know, we have to pay attention to see if it's, you know, algorithmic trading with the stock market. Is there going to be different headwinds? We just got to keep an eye on the time frames, the momentum, the indicators. We just have to make sure, you know, we don't have, you know, some big sell off, you know, on like Bitcoin, which is kind of the index, which, you know, messes with all of them or the queen Ethereum that messes with the alt. So we just got to keep an eye on it. But right now, Aave is looking good. A good measurement tool is the one hour. And, you know, it's had a lot of sideways action. It's finally breaking out of its sideways action. 
Let's look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin has had a beautiful pump this evening. I actually capitalized on that in a very, very big way. Uh, maybe my whole month on this pump actually, right here, just literally cleaned house. Um, had a good amount of Bitcoin on this trade and it, it hit. And I, I knew it would, I felt like it would because the technicals were showing that it was going to. It just, the way the markets work is it'll show you it's gonna go up in the trend but it likes to kind of do these these ups and downs so people are like oh no it's not or they get shaken out you know that's just the gyrations of the market the overall trend is gyrating but gyrating up up longer down shorter up longer so it's showing that and it shows that when the volume goes in the direction of the trend and the price action so this is a monster pump right here and it looks like it's still gonna roll let's back it down to the five minute and take a look look at the angle Look at the strength, okay? Looking good, all right? The one hour, okay? It was going sideways all weekend. So frustrating, so frustrating. Couldn't really do anything. And boom, there's that momentum. There's the blue ribbon. HMA is looking good. There's your triangle. Everything's synced up, like I said. And boom, you're, you're running and you're still going to run, okay? There's going to be some, some hours that come down during the run that's normal. That's normal. Just just know it's it's you know it's it's pushing right now, okay? Showing strength on the four hour, showing strength on the daily, showing strength on the daily. Everything's syncing up. Look at that big volume yesterday. We just started a new day, so of course it's gonna look low. But yeah, right on the line, holding the line. If I back it up to the one hour, you can see the line again. This blue one. And finally, from going down and up and hope, fighting it and up and down, Jerome Powell and down and up and trying to fight rejection and down and fight and sideways and down and finally Bulls took the reins, whooped some ass and here we go baby. You know what I'm saying? Let's go take a look at Solana real quick. I said the other day I think Solana's going to push it. Was that 32? Boom. Who loves you? It's all happening guys. It's all happening. I just don't know for how long. But I definitely know that we are in, uh, we are getting a pump and, and, you know, it doesn't mean that it's going to end like by the time you see this video, you know, this could be like I had said, I don't know if I said it on YouTube, but I said it in my Discord, one of the two or maybe both. I said, you know, this could be a multi-week pump coming in. And I said that like three or four days ago uh, before it even started. And look, I mean, on the hour, that's, you're right at a breakout sp spot, you know, on, a, on an old hourly um, pivot high area. So that's something to watch. You know, on the four hour, again, we're looking at strength. Actually, it's the four hour is actually starting to show really good strength. So um, Solana is looking good. And same with the daily, guys. So Solana is looking good. Uh, sushi, again, I said started buying this at $1.02. It's at 109 right now. It's got a nice pump going. Let's just walk down the time frame so we can just take a look at the gorgeous sexiness of this, this trend upwards. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, I mean, it's looking good. There's your one hour, Look at your four hour. Okay, it came down, boom. Starting to roll up. And again, this thing is down 2,700% or something like that. Um, and you got your bottoming process. I mean, you're not too late, guys. It's a dollar nine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool. Cardano. I'm. I'm. I like Cardano. I think people make fun of me for liking it so much, and you know, I've been saying saying it's going to go for a while, and it hasn't really moved too much. And if you look at the daily, it's true. I mean, they're right. Like it has just been going sideways, but that's a bottoming process, and there's accumulation going on on Cardano behind the scenes. You can't get it. You can't. You can't be sneaky with me in the volume. See, you, you can sneak around any which way you want, but you can't be sneaky in the volume. I can catch you there. And um, Cardano, Cardano's had had some uh, holding going on, some accumulation come, going on. Uh, it's got things I'm looking for, like follow through days and specific angles and momentums, and it it's also has some um, like catalyst things going on. Um, you know, which is great. So. Technically and fundamentally, Cardano looks good. I love the pump, looking great. I I like Cardano. I'm gonna hold my Cardano. I'm not planning on selling it. My average cost is 44, so I'm only up a penny and a half. It doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm happy. 
to own it. And um, yeah, I'm, that's all I can say. I'm happy to own it. And I think that we're, I mean, there's, there's where I think the bottom is right there, that yellow line. And, you know, we're holding the line. And when things consolidate and build bases or they squeeze into momentum and build pressure, they, they tend to jump. Um, out of nowhere. So when you get this big, like, you know, holds the bottom, smoothing on the 200, pressure builds, and then boom, out of nowhere, one day you wake up and this thing's at like 52 cents, which could be like any day now. So I'm just being prepared, um, you know. Uh, let's look at Ethereum again, looking, well, she's pretty right now. I mean, look at her, look, she looks good. And uh, you guys that watch this channel know that I love Ethereum. Guys, come in the Discord. I open up the Jedi chat. You know, I'm there. I'm going to be helping people every single day. I already do, but I'm going to be helping non-subscribe members as well. Let's all learn together. Let's all grow together. Let's all be a community. Uh, I don't want drama. I want it to be friendly and about learning and growing and, and ideas and sharing and helping each other. Um, I don't want any bullying or anything weird like that, but... Um, come on in, you know, let's let's have a nice safe fun community where we grow and share ideas and learn together Okay, and uh, I'm there for you and that, that's that's why I do this um, It's just kind of help help you guys out and you know, it keeps me occupied too I'd be doing the same thing myself every single day, but just not with you guys, you know So I might as well do it with you guys. So, you know, we can do it together if You look at that five minute. I mean, we're trending up. It's looking looking really nice we look at that one hour, there it is, all that sideways action. Finally, we decide to get over that 200. Anytime you get price action over the 200, even on the hourly, um, we're, we're, we're moving in the right direction. Okay, four hour, um, it's also showing some strength. And Ethereum, um, like I had said in that video, we were right on that fib line, and I think we could come and butt our head up right around the 665 to 1700, and then we'll probably come down. Okay, this is a rally, not a bull run. Okay, a little bit more than a pump. We'll call it a rally coming in. Um, but I'm not expecting like a major like breakout and trend reversals and a bull run. I'm not claiming that. I'm just saying we're going to probably, you know, come up to here and we're probably going to play this game, you know, and, and until time goes by. The variable will be time. All right. So Ethereum looks good. Um, and you know if you're trading it the way that you trade it is in that range i'll just show you if you're gonna trade it <clears throat> you know you 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 would have been in like over in here right and you either would have exited here or here and you've been kind of waiting for this to happen and now you're gonna grab it and you're gonna run this up and if it butts its head on it you'll sell it that's what a trader will do uh, an investor, and I'm an investor in Ethereum, I'm, I'm not trading it personally, even though I'm, I'm mainly a trader. Ethereum is just one of those ones dear to my heart. I, I really enjoy owning it. It makes me feel happy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, for an investor, you know, you're basically, you know, you're, you're buying it, you're making money, you're watching it dissipate. Maybe right here you buy some more, okay? And just know it'll probably come down. And, you know, when it comes down and it pivots again, you buy some more. And, you know, you just buy some, you know, just keep doing that until one day it takes off, which I think is going to be around October 21st to October 27th on Ethereum. There's also a case for November 8th and a case for December 20th that I am seeing. Um, all right. So, yeah. Rallies to the upside, rallies to the downside, you know. Love them or hate them, they're always going to be there. So just know how to identify them and jump on in. Um, Adam, you know, Adam's done really good. Adam Adam had some special momentum going on. Now, I know it's faded a little bit, but it is trying to push back. It's struggling a little bit. It did have a nice little, little rally uh, earlier today, which is Monday afternoon. You can see the nice flowing trend, okay? Um, on the one hour, let's back it up. It kind of looks sideways. So the trend hasn't started as much as like the Cardano and the Solana and the Bitcoin. On the four hour, same kind of thing. We're just kind of going sideways on this 200. That's okay. It's holding. All right. It doesn't want to be left below. But it was the first one to trend up and get over the 200. It got rejected. But it's, it's still trying to fight because it wants to be a leader and it doesn't want to let you down. So 
We got to keep an eye on Adam. I'm still in it. I didn't sell it. Now, Ape is showing some weakness to come down, but I looked at it four, five, six hours ago, earlier today. And uh, let's just take a look right now because it looks like Ape has had a nice push. All right, let's look at the five minute real quick. Nice, smooth uptrend. Okay, nice and smooth, smooth down, starting to change its directions. We got our triangle, everything is syncing up, looking good. Okay, let's just take a little deeper look. Ape is getting a bounce off its 200 on the four hour. And on the daily, we have a lot of good indicators um, showing strength, but we have price action bumping into them and weakness on the indicators, which makes me think we may just have a little retrace and then push back up. I don't think we're going to uh, break this low or come back down to this one. I just think we might kind of come down a little bit and then do that kind of number. So, you know, no need to sell it. $5.61 is a good price. I think mine's at like basically five bucks. It's like 5.05 .05 or something. So, I mean, I'm not super profitable on it, but, um, I was at one, not recently. It was like six forty, wasn't it? Yeah, six dollars and thirty eight cents. So, you know, I'm still holding it. Um, polka dot. Let's just look at polka dot real quick. Um, phew, polka dot. What's up, baby? <laughs> okay. Boom. We're just like polka dot. Where you come from right now? <laughs> polka dot looks like it had a good day. Um, cool. That's one that I have too. I don't have a ton of it, but I do have some and I've just been kind of waiting. But now that I'm looking at it right now, now looks like the time to add, um, into polka dot. Now is the time to buy and add some more polka dot. It looks ready to go. It's time to harvest those little berries and eat good tonight. Okay. Polka dot has its bottoming process. It's showing strength on the smaller time frames. Good to go. All right. Matic. Matic also looking really nice. Nice uptrend. Okay. We're getting some nice, good strength. Normal, normal gyrations and oscillations against the trend. Everything looks nice and good. Getting over the 200 with the price action. Your HMA is blue. Okay. And, you know, you created uh, blue dojis on this new pivot low. You kind of got some weakness and you're fighting. You know, Matic is fighting. So, you know, let's uh, let's cheer for it and, uh, you know, hope that it wins. Look, here we go. Avalanche. I feel like Avalanche is ready to make a big move, okay? I was saying Chili's. Chili's went to the moon. I said Algorand. It went to the moon. I'm telling you right now, I think Avalanche... He's got what it takes right now to make that push. And now that I woke up from my nap and I come and look at this chart, I'm finding out that I might be correct about this as well. Look at that. Look at that. Slow building, 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 and boom. And I don't think it's done. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Avalanche. Avalanche looking good. I like when we come down here. And we retest and we make a, a higher high. I don't know if that's a higher high, actually. That looks like a double top there. But we came down and retested again, and it's fighting. And this is on the daily. So I think Avalanche is a good one. I uh, added more myself. I think it was yesterday. And I want to add more polka dot and Avalanche, actually, now that I'm um, looking at these right now. Chain link. I'm huge on chain link. I'll say it every time. I like it. I, you know, I just, I'm, I haven't sold any. I want to buy more, but I'm just like, should I average up? But <laughs> I, I really like chain link. I've liked it for a long, long time. Um, and, you know, I snapped it up at great prices, uh, right about six bucks. Well, uh, hold on. Six or six ninety-nine. Oh, yeah, right about seven bucks. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm up over a dollar and, um, that's cool, you know? So on the five minute trending really, really beautifully, actually, um, the one hour is gorgeous. I mean, this is, whew, it's looking good. Now this going sideways, it might just be taking a little breather. We want, we want this to angle up and this to angle up and these ribbons to start angling, but your 200 is, is showing that and 
These are smooth movements. Um, oh, Chainlink might be really giving back right now. Now, this is going to be interesting. We have some levels of resistance on the four hour coming up. Um, but look, we're, we hit our bottoms, came up, test, boom, 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 and off we go. And we get this. Remember, we get price action above the 200 on the daily, and the ribbon goes above it. You left phase four, entered phase one, and are officially in a bull run. Okay, so chain link's looking good, guys. Uh, Shiba. Shiba, Shiba. I mean, you know, I've been calling out Shiba now for four or five days, and, and, this is why, you know, it's it's on the move, it's on the hunt, guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, she was still gonna run, too. Yeah, she, she was just getting started, actually. Doge. I've been calling that one for about five days, too. Way back here. I'm like, eh, Doge is doing something. I'm seeing it. Look what happened. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, usually plugging and pushing and doing alerts on Doge, but, hey, I'm not prejudiced. You know, if Doge wants to, you know, let, you know, let the dogs out to play and to party, like, whatever, man. Let them come out. So, Doge bottoming process kind of lackluster it looks like but this could be the start of something nice so you know um doge looks like it's just getting started to me mana uh same thing looking gorgeous rejection rejection on this yellow line okay let's go take a look at that we know it's rejected Mono was at 74 cents. It's at 71 now. It's going to reattempt. It's close. It's about to reattempt. I'm going to go look at that again. Yeah, it's going to make a reattempt. See, you just got the green triangle. And so it's going to make a reattempt. So get ready for a breakout on Mana at 71.7148. We are knocking on the door. Mana is going to attempt to break out. And because this is blue, this went green, and this is green, and we're right on the door, and all the indicators say, the probability of it breaking out is likely. And I would say we're going up towards that 73, 74 cents easy, okay, on that. Um, yeah. Boom. So reverse breakout on the four hour. It'll be the same thing on the daily, you know, very, very small price action. But, uh, you know, we want to keep an eye on it. And Mana is trying to trying to stay in there. Ethereum Classic definitely pushed up. Okay. Um, I might actually add a new uh, crypto for me, um, uh, the Uniswap. So I, I don't have that one, and I noticed that was uh, making some moves in the charts. And the thing is, is I'm, I'm weighted kind of heavy in crypto. So my volatility is like pretty gnarly in my portfolio um, on these swings because I have a lot of crypto. I don't have your standard 2 or 5% crypto right now. I'm, I'm being bad. But um, but I know how to read these technicals, and I, I'm, I'm cool with it. I, I feel okay. Um yeah, so some mixed signals on the daily. This might come down. It might go up. I'm, I'm just not totally positive. I mean, obviously, it is trying to make a push up. It's showing it's at the beginning of a push up. You can even see a doji. But I don't have full confirmations that it's safe to get in on um, the daily. Zcash, I'm going to tell you, Zcash is bullish to the daily. Okay, I was telling my guys for days, I told you guys on YouTube, and I reiterated it in the alerts this morning. Look at this, guys. Boom. This thing, Zcash, it's time to be in Zcash. I'm telling you, it is time to be in Zcash. Do what you want. It is it is a moneymaker coming. This is this is gonna pay. This this is like a payday play right here. You can get paid on this one. Okay? Look at that. We're moving up on the four hour, showing more strength than almost all the other charts. Zcash was way at the top of the list. Everything's looking right. Everything's looking right with Zcash to me. 
So I like Zcash. Um, I'm still in Algorand. I don't know why I wouldn't be. I mean, it hasn't done me dirty. I got it in at like, you know, right about 30 cents is where I got in, which is, you know, it's lower than that. Got in at, it was like 20, it's 29, but it was pretty much 30 cents. No, it's way over here. I have had it a little while. Yeah, even lower. Even lower. Yeah. Down here. Yeah, 0.2925. Gangster, guys, the gene method. Subscribe on the channel and come in the Discord. I will hook you up. I was calling that out. Back up a couple videos. Go, go check the guys in the Discord. I've been plugging Algorand since 29.30 cents, and here we are. 37 cents, and this was at 40 cents. Um, I don't know what happened to my chart there. This was at 40 cents, like just the other night, and it's easily, well, I don't know about easily. Let me just look at something real quick. Oh, it broke out and failed. It's going to re attempt. So it's going to re attempt a breakout. So it did get over, got rejected, it's bouncing off its 200 on the hourly. Algorand uh, up here is at, so 38, so we're about a penny, we're about a penny away from a breakout, okay? Once we break out and we hold with the body candle close above this line on the daily, okay? At least the four hour, but the daily is better. So see how you got a purple doji, purple candle? It's okay, it could be like a impulse bull flag kind of thing and then break out, push to the top side. It happens. Um, Although I am I am seeing some technical indicators saying it's going to come down, but I'm seeing that on Ape as well, and I've stayed in, and both Ape and Algo have gone in since I've known that. So sometimes you just gotta have some balls, you know. You gotta just stick with it. Uh, Chili's, yeah, I was telling you guys, Chili's is looking good, and boom, it it launched. Actually, I think it launched way before all this. Um, so yeah, I'm still in Chili's. This is obviously a rejection point or breakout spot. It did, look at that, on the hour. My gosh. Boom, broke out, failed, tried again. Bouncing off its 200, it looks like it's on its way to a breakout. And when you get to the daily, we're talking cup and handle, baby. We're talking cup and handle. Look at this. Whoop. Handle breakout. Okay, it's gonna come down and it's gonna shoot back up. I'm um putting my money where my mouth is. I got a bunch of chili, so hopefully uh and I'm up on it right now. I'm not up a ton because I only got it down in this little zone, but uh I am up and is there any more cryptos in here? I'm kinda overstocks at the moment. Um, yeah, so, I mean, all those look good that I said. Aave, Bitcoin, Solana, Sushi, Cardano, Ethereum, Atom, Ape. Got to be careful. I'm holding mine. Dot looked like it picked up a lot of momentum today. Maddox, a fighter. Avalanche, I think, is about to run. So is Shiba. Link is looking good. Doge, looking good. Mana, Mana, low price action, but trying for an attempt on that breakout. Ethereum Classic, Indecision, looking good on the middle time frames, which is where it starts. Zcash is a go, baby. Zcash is a go. Algorand, I believe in you, baby. Let's do it. Chili's, I got your back. So that's where I'm going to end it. Come in the Discord. Subscribe. Make me a comment. Hit that like button. Who loves you, baby? Welcome to the wheelhouse. <laughs>